really smooth and steady breath. So today is radiation day. My hair got longer. I look like chicken little. <laughs> it's doing like this little frohawk thing now. <laughs> I actually feel pretty calm. The past few days I've been feeling like a lot of different emotions. Um, I don't know how people do it, eat intoxing. It was hard. After today, I'm gonna be um, on treatment for the next 10 years, but like radiation is like the last big one because I did my double mastectomy, my reconstruction, my chemo. So this is like the last big part of it. We're reaching 10 months since I was diagnosed. I'm just really tired. I will say I feel like I also feel very antsy and like this because of the herniated disc. I've basically been bedridden since uh, mid-January and um, beforehand I was super fatigued through the chemo and so I you know was laying in bed a lot and it didn't really get to me but now that I haven't been able to move for a while I'm just so I want to work out so badly. I want to be able to go on a walk without being like, am I going to get stuck out there because of the pain? And so I will say the herniated disc has tested me in more ways than the cancer, surprisingly. I don't know. Of course, it's not fun going through both at the same time. Um, so just having to deal with radiation now when my energy is finally kind of getting up. Fatigue is a huge side effect of radiation so I'm hoping to walk at least a mile if not two if my body lets me <laughs> after each radiation so my radiation plan is every weekday Monday through Friday uh, for five weeks and I'll have 25 sessions and since the cancer was on my left that's where the heart is so they said each session will depend on how long I can hold my breath for so they told me this technique I have to do while they do the radiation, I have to hold my breath so there's more space between my heart and the radiation to minimize the damage of my heart. And I also did like this other scan test thing last week, I believe. Yeah, there's a lot going on, just, yeah. Um, so today I have that at 10.30 and I have PT at two. Tom is on his way home right now from the fire station. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna finish this. Take my Advil, cause I'm still, I'm like leaning on my side right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I used to not be able to do this. Literally last week, I would have to lay on my side and eat breakfast because the pressure on my spine was so painful. So we are improving. I'll take that. Just trying to be patient. It's been really hard. Just trusting the healing process, trying to let myself feel all the emotions that come, good and bad, without feeling guilty. That's still a thing I'm working on. Say, so I'm gonna finish this real quick.
should have made two. <laughs> <laughs> Just another okay. step. The last or oh, ish, last ish step. Yeah. I'm actually feeling good. Oh. The rooms have a, a, a bench right here, and then under the benches are two drawers. These are for large and tall, so you never need that color. So for you, it's always light blue, okay? Okay. And for you, we just need everything from the waist up all. You can keep your hand on if you like. Okay. But I want to give you this. It looks like you're like 11.15 the rest of this week and 11.45. Oh, okay, great. Starting um, on the first. Okay. Okay, that was, okay. It was like James Bond wigs. <laughs> it was like a it James was, Bond layout. It was cool. Um, I'm so cold. It actually wasn't too bad, but I'm sore. And then you have special motion. But yeah, that was, it, it wasn't fun, but it, it's okay. Yeah. First Good job. Out. Thank you, babe. And out of first chemo. My hair, babe. Radiation, not first chemo. On radiation. <laughs> Laying down for a quick second. I have PTN 20 minutes, I'm so tired. Right when I was about to fall into a deep slumber, Tom woke me up to go to my PT. I'm running late right now. Um, thankfully it's right down, the, right down the street. Oh my God, I'm so, so tired. Oy. After this, I think I'm gonna just, I was gonna try to do my store returns but I don't know we'll see maybe I'll get a second wave of energy um so they said fatigue is going to be a really big side effect from radiation but I didn't know like this like the fatigue that I feel right now is like hungover fatigue <laughs> which I have not had an alcoholic beverage since the diagnosis so it's been almost a year since I've had a drink but anyways I'm struggling also, one of my biggest fears during PT, since he's like working on my back, he like pushes on my lower back, is I'm always scared to pangu. <laughs> I'm like more stressed about that. Um, but yes, I'm here. ended up passing out after coming home and I think for over two hours I woke up at around 5 15 and then my sister-in-law came and dropped off our um, son she has been just we wouldn't have made it through this without her then we had dinner it's now almost seven o'clock I wanted to go on a walk TJ can we go on walk yes. can we go walk outside yeah. no <laughs> trying to fight this fatigue 
but supposedly there's a mouse and a T-Rex outside and he doesn't want to go for a walk. There's a mouse outside? Yeah, mouse. Oh, there's no mouse. Can mommy go outside and walk? Let's go Let's go outside and go for a walk. No, no. There's a T-Rex outside? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just gonna hang out with the little bud. Mommy has to fix it? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Okay, Mommy will fix it. 